earthquakes are powerful, but have you ever heard of one so strong that it made a river flow backward? That's exactly what happened in 1811 when the New Madrid earthquakes shook the United States. It all started on December 16, 1811, in the Mississippi Valley. The ground began to rumble violently and the shaking didn't stop. Over the next three months, a series of massive earthquakes, some estimated at magnitude 8 or higher, struck the region. The Mississippi River itself began to surge in the wrong direction, causing entire islands to disappear in flooding massive areas. Witnesses said it looked like the river was boiling. One of the biggest quakes hit on February 7, 1812. The shaking was so intense that chimneys crumbled, forests were flattened, and entire towns were destroyed. Even church bells rang in Boston, over 1,000 miles away. The effects were terrifying. Some Native American tribes believed the world was ending, and settlers fled their homes in terror. A massive lake, now called Real Foot Lake, was formed when the land sank permanently. But here's the craziest part. The Mississippi River's reversal was so violent that it caused a massive wave that wiped out boats and flooded communities. This is one of the only recorded times in history that a river flowed backward due to an earthquake. And get this, scientists say this could happen again. The New Madrid seismic zone is still active today, and if another megaquake strikes, history might repeat itself. So, if you ever see a river running the wrong way, it might just mean the ground beneath you is about to move.